Just when you think you're safe, you're not. That's how they always get you. There you are. Finally. There's an important briefing in the conference area. The sheriff sent me to find you. You and Lily are supposed to head up there right away. What? Why? What the hell's going on, Angie? I was told to keep my mouth shut until you got up there. Sorry, you get the mushroom diet on this one for a few minutes. <laughs> Typical. Let's go. Whatever it is, it must be important. Diamond City is the place to live, I tell you. You made the right choice coming here. <clears throat> Good you're here. We can get started. What's going on, Sheriff? What did you need us for? I wanted you to hear it from me first, Lily. And I wanted you to hear that you are a part of our immediate response. We've learned a lot about our recent gunner encounter with the intel you brought back. And they are indeed moving against our organization. Having failed to kill the Greenhouse, they have just launched their next phase in their plans, which is to go after our other resources. You're making me nervous, Sheriff. Just... out with it. Fair enough. I'm sorry to report that we received word less than an hour ago that the Gunners launched an assault and took the Atom Cat's garage. No! My Rizzo! Your friends are alive, Lily. It looks like all of them. We have a scout in a favorable position at Warwick who has been reporting regularly. We're here to plan an immediate response. We know it's a trap. We know it's a diversion. That's why we need everyone, including you. Just give me a gun and tell me how many holes to put in whose head. You'll get your chance. You're here for a very specific tactical reason. We need you to be a part of this. The sooner you let Lieutenant Dan speak, the sooner that will happen. Lieutenant? Gunner staged a raid on the Adam Katz's garage shortly before dawn this morning. A pair of mini nuke explosions attracted scouts to the area. Judging by their locations and the destroyed armor around them, the detonations were the fusion cores on Adam Cat patrolling T-60s. By the time our scouts got within visual range of the garage, all known Adam Cats were being held hostage in the warehouse behind the Red Rocket. It's most likely gunner snipers forced the patrols out of their power armor and used them as bargaining chips to make the rest surrender. The holotapes Lily recovered describe the current phase of their operation as a plan to disrupt our power armor supply and maintenance chain. We did not know if this meant Lieutenant Spears, Lily, the Atom Cats, or somewhere else along the chain. It seems we have our answer now. Those goddamn motherfuckers. We never hurt nobody. Crenshaw is over there right now, and has not let the garage out of his scope for hours, Lily. Your friends are not alone. Fortunately, Zeke seems to have the good sense to surrender in the face of overwhelming odds and save lives rather than get everyone killed. He might have been hoping we come to save them. We assume that's what the Gunners hope as well. We don't intend to let either of them down. Fuck yeah. Crenshaw has also reported the scouts are suffering from a critical lack of experience in hardening their defenses. The Adam Cat's garage is on a peninsula, which makes it obvious where to harden your defenses, if you're an inexperienced officer. But they've made a fatal mistake. They forgot power armor is submersible and concentrated their forces on the causeway to the west of the garage. Those dumb fucks! Here's the plan, so listen closely. Lily. The first part of the plan commences this evening. Crenshaw and two deputies will attempt to engage the gunners diplomatically. This is only to distract them from a small group of regulars deploying in the marshes and a drain pipe along either side of the road in the dark.
Here the different raider groups are carving up Concord like Christmas hey there. turkey. There you are. Finally. There's an important briefing in the conference area. Hi. Good you're here. We can get started. What's going on, Sheriff? What did you need us for? I wanted you... We... Mm -hmm. Having... Mm -hmm. You're making me nervous. Mm -hmm. We're... Lieutenant. Yeah. Sure. It's most... The whole... We did... Not Those guys... Crenshaw... Fort... He might... Fuck... Crenshaw... Right? Those dumb... Here's the... the mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is only to distract them from a small group of regular... The next stage is where you come in, Lily. You can see here on the map the general route we have planned for a surprise assault party. Unfortunately, it's a rough estimate. Everyone in this room is aware the Atom Cats salvaged their T-60s from a sunken military ship off their coast. We respect their claim and have never tried to salvage the armor. But that also means we are not familiar with the sea floor out there. Lieutenant Spears will be leading the assault, but that still leaves the issue of our unfamiliarity with the bottom of the bay. The plan is to go traverse the bottom and cross the bay from the L Street bathhouse and emerge at the eastern tip of the peninsula. This will be happening in the dead of night in polluted and muddy waters. Visibility will be no more than a couple meters at best. Getting lost down there is inevitable if you lose focus or sight of your squad for any length of time, and we need everyone to make it. Lily. Nobody knows the terrain down there better than you and Zeke. We need you to lead the assault party across and under the bay. We will be entirely dependent on you to guide them, Lily. We need you for this, and we can't do it without you. Are you up for it? Amphibious assault? Fuck yeah! You know how cool we're gonna look coming out of the water at night? Pew, 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 pew! Ah, help me! Pew, pew, pew! No mercy! Focus, Lily. Remember Rizzo. Sorry. You can count on me, Sheriff. I know that sea floor down there like the back of my hand. Rizzo needs me, and I'm not letting my friends down. Not now, not ever. The Gunners have no defenses anywhere else on the peninsula. They've concentrated all of their forces along that single wall on the causeway. You're a goddamn genius, Sheriff. Hey, Babs better watch out. This actually was Dr. McClintock's idea. I must give credit where it is due. <laughs> oh, she is so badass! Stealth is absolutely essential for your success. If you move quieter without power armor, leave it behind when you're done with the crossing. If they realize you are there before you strike, we run a serious risk of losing one or all of the Atom Cats people. That is totally unacceptable. The mechanized team will depart the bathhouse at twilight and time their arrival at the peninsula for dark. Once there, you will make your way to the warehouse and neutralize the guards watching the Atom Cats before they raise an alarm. After that, Lily, you are to control an angry group of Atom Cats and let us finish the job without any of them getting killed. Once the Atom Cats are safely out of harm, you will make your way west through the Atom Cats compound, eliminating gunners with extreme prejudice. The others will take your gunfire as a signal that the Atom Cats are safe and to launch their attack around the flanks of the front gate. You are to meet in the middle, so check your friendly fire twice. The silhouette you're shooting at might be one of ours. <laughs> I'm bringing my bailing wire. It's gonna look like Christmas out there when we're done hanging them all. We're not done. The Gunners staged this from Quincy. They had time, resources, and space to do this close by. That's intolerable. Once the garage is under control, you, Crenshaw, and the rest of the forces will move on to Quincy and eliminate the gunner presence there. Lieutenant Harkins' snipers and a small detachment of mechanized units will approach Quincy from the north on the elevated highway. They will sweep it of gunners and establish sniper positions to assist the ground units with clearing out Quincy. The rest of the mechanized units we can spare will move in from the southwest and seal off any remaining escape routes. We're ending the gunner threat on the Atom Cats once and for all. We will trap them in Quincy and make it their grave. The gunner blood we spill will wash away the shame of the Minutemen, and they will never threaten our friends again. No prisoners, no survivors. 
<sighs> you know, I just fell in love with you a little more, Sheriff. Great. Are there any questions? Are you going to be part of this, Sheriff? No. We are just a Sheriff's Department and not designed to support this sort of role. We will be stretched dangerously thin. We fully anticipate a gunner attack on the Fens when we launch our attack on the Adam Katz's compound, when we are at our most vulnerable. Snipers aren't of much use in the flat lands of the Adam Katz's swamp. They risk exposing themselves just to get a good vantage point. So the bulk of the sniper force will be staying here for the anticipated gunner attack on the Fens. Additional forces will come from regulars. The remaining mechanized units, myself and Lieutenant Dan. The plan is to use overwhelming sniper fire to cover us as we push them into the Mass Pike Tunnel north of our main gate. Snipers will keep them pinned in on the east while Lieutenant Dan and his unit sweep them out from the west. Any forces that can make it back from the operation fast enough to help us will be of great assistance. Ghoul food or cannon fodder? Either way, they won't be leaving that tunnel since we'll have welded shut all alternate exits. And you, as Lily's most recent living sidekick, will you stand with your friend? You know, I'm not her sidekick, right? You tell yourself whatever you need to feel better and get through this mission. We all cope with fear in our own way. It isn't my place to judge. What happened to the Courser? Don't you trust me? The Courser is where it can't harm us, and not in matters this sensitive. Absolutely. You can count on me. Very good. We have a set of scuba-equipped T-60 power armor in the bay waiting for you. Lieutenants, any questions? Those are good kids out there. Let's go save them. My snipers here are ready, sir. We can handle whatever they throw at us. Your helmet is in the power armor bay, Lily. Spears already added the scuba gear to it. All right, people. Time is wasting and our friends need us. Let's finish this up and start doing things. Last call for questions. Where do I pick up my power armor? The power armor bay. Right there. There is a water-sealed unit waiting for you. No. Let's do this. Very well. Get your power armor and rally with the mechanized team in the bathhouse tonight. that out of the frame. Need anything? Hey. hey. Good. You're ready. Let's go meet Spears at the bathhouse out east. Now you have the right idea. Power on. Only way to travel. Diamond City is the place to live, I tell ya. You made the right choice.
I'll hand it to you. This place isn't awful. It's still a hole, but it could be worse. You'll find me some jet. Then I'll be in sight to help you. I need covering fire! Oh, you Raiders wrote a check you couldn't cash when you fucked with me. What the hell was that? Here we go. Careful. Ain't nobody washing their hands after taking a leak these days. Or using toilet paper. Doing laundry. There you guys are. This is the time, and this is the place. You ready to turn this pucker factor to fool? I don't like spooky dark water. Trust me, once you get down there, you'll be working so hard and I'm not shitting in your armor that you'll forget about the inky infinite void dragging you down. As ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. All right, all right then. Let's do a quick rundown of the plan. Hey, Spears. Before you get started, I was thinking on the way over here that we might get separated no matter what. It's real dark down there. So I banged as good of a route as I could from memory into my helmet visor. Just in case, you know. So link it up and we'll have a backup plan. That's good thinking, Lily. We need to make it on time. Our friends are counting on us. 
Listen up. In case we get separated, rally just off the shore of the peninsula at the last waypoint before we make our assault. Here. Yeah. You'll probably find it easier if the data was on that overgrown wrist fleshlight of yours. Just remember what Spears said. If we get separated, don't waste time looking for us. Just keep chugging along. We'll all meet at the rally point. All right, guys. Remember, we all have the air we need because of the T-60s, but you still gotta pop some Radex now and decon when we're done. When we get close to the surface on the other side, we need to be stealthier than a ninja fog. Stay down, keep those lights off. If you need to pop out of your armor to do it, do it right after we get out of the water, far away from the gunners. I don't want nobody to die on account of them fucking with getting in and out of the power armor during a firefight. Lily, we're in your hands. Take us across. I won't let you guys down. Now let's go save our friends. Stick close. We'll finally get the radioactive goo off your leg plates. Not this work of art. I sealed that puppy in there with boat-grade oil-based lacquer. Why doesn't that surprise me? Don't fuck with us. Cthulhu is your mascot? You're shitting me. <laughs> yeah, I am. I have no idea what that fucking thing is. We've seen it before while salvaging power armor. Well, I saw part of it at least. It's over a click long. Can't hope to see the whole thing underwater. But let's keep moving fast before it eats us. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Maybe triple time while we're at it.
I already drank radioactive water for breakfast. You'd think someone would have been able to piece together a working car after 200 years. There they are, up in the loft. One guard. We got this. Rowdy, you want to spiff up your power armor? You've come to the right place. The Adam Cats have the most... Not interested. Let me know. Hey there. Rizzo! I need to find Rizzo. Rizzo? Rizzo! Hang on, I'm coming! Rizzo! Rizzo! Ah, oh, babe, they- Lily! Holy shit! You have no idea how happy I am to see you. And you have no idea how happy I am not to see a riddle with bullet holes. You guys okay? I think so, yeah. We're okay. Nothing but a few black eyes and some bruised ribs. I know you would come. I told Zeke you'd save us. That was a slick showing, boss. Short stuff here didn't want to surrender, but talked them out of getting us killed. Hey, if my friends, especially you Rizzo Cakes, are ever in trouble, I grab my fusion cores and I come running. You can count on it. Look, Zeke, I know how important it is to you that you guys handle yourselves, but Rizzo was right. You did the right thing, because I promise we'll come. Ugh, gunners! Those wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits! 
Thanks for taking care of our business there. Come on, Zeke. You can do better than that. Because of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. The Adam Cat's top cat has done it again. Tops. Ha! <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Just like old times. Hey, is that Spears armor over there? Oh, crap. Where the hell is Spears? Oh, fuck. Hold on, Spears. We're coming. We'll check on heavy metal, babe. I promise we're all cool here. Spears! What happened? Are you okay? Ugh, fucking douchebag gun. I got a lucky shot under my ab plates. I've taken worse. Yeah, yeah, you have. And that wound knocked you on your ass for a few weeks, if I remember rightly, too. You gonna be okay? A anything we can do? It's gonna take more than a bullet to stop this gearhead, but he's not going anywhere until we get him field dressed. And he's sure as hell not gonna be in fighting shape anytime soon. So we just lost our best mechanized guy for the week? Looks like it. Yeah. I'm looking at our second best one right now. It ain't over tonight, Lily. You heard the sheriff. We need everyone we can get. Linda, my other mechanized guys, the rest of them will get to Quincy in a minute now. You have to take back the rest of the deputies and go help. They need our help. You got this, Lily. Don't let them down. Don't let them get hurt. But Spears, half your guts are sh- I'll be fine, Lily. But the rest of our friends are about to be dodging bullets. Go. Go now before they get hurt. And remember what I taught you. Okay, Spears. Yeah. I'll go. Just, uh, take care of him, Crenshaw. Okay? He's in good hands. We're gonna get him on his feet and head straight to Gary. Now get going. Shoot some gunners in the nuts for us. And, uh, all these bodies lying around here? We know exactly what to do with them. Now hurry. Go make sure no one else gets hurt. Come on. You heard, Spears. We, we gotta go. There's no time to waste. She told me about this once. Is she somewhere out there with two helpers feeding a quad barrel missile launches?
you're working, giddy up, buttercup. Guess I'll have to settle. on the fine cover and stay out of sight school of thought, are ya? Last mistake! Ugh. <clears throat> Good work, Merc. You earned your pay today. We did it, Linda! We kicked those motherfuckers the hell out of Quincy! For now, at least. I suspect they'll be back for more. I'm beginning to think the gunners out here are brain damaged. They don't learn. But that's not important right now. That was you at the start, wasn't it? I bet it was! You almost brought the whole fucking overpass down! Boom! Boom! Pew! 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 pew boom! <laughs> Yeah, that was me. Listen, Lily. I knew it! I told everyone it was you. That was so fucking cool, Linda! I mean, I've seen some serious hammers brought down, but... I was doing it again, wasn't I? <laughs> Sorry, Linda. What's up? As I was saying, Lily, you guys need to get back to Diamond City right the fuck now. Delano's in my earpiece screaming up a storm. The gunners attacked Diamond City just like we thought they would. Delano said we're pushing them into the Mass Pike Tunnel according to plan but we're barely holding it together. Between Adam Cat's garage and Quincy, we're just stretched way too thin. I also got an update on Spears. He'll be okay. We're under orders to get back as fast as we can, but we have to retrieve him first. A small group can get over there much faster than I can muster everyone and make the trip. And you know the route well. Don't wait. Leave now. Fuck. Okay. We're out of here, Linda. See you back home. The sheriff has taken care of her part of things at the Boston Police Rationing Site. Angie said you'll find her there. Come on, we gotta run to Diamond City. This is one hell of a fucking night so far.
day's work. Hey, uh, you think maybe they keisted something? Why don't you slap on a rubber glove and check? Barred from the other side. Should remove that bar first. Get the bar out of the way. Ow! Now hurt you, dick. Arrest completed. Hey, Sheriff, uh, we're back. Spears got Hawkins Radio Crenshaw. Mm -hmm. We've still got tasks to accomplish before this is over. How are you holding up? I've got one more job for you. <laughs> oh my god! You should have seen This isn't I'm sure mm -hmm. it took all our remaining death. There is the rest right. Raiders. Uh -huh. Our snipers aren't shooting at the Lieutenant Dan sure. when we say they'll have that is we don't I have to mm -hmm. we can only hope that gunners don't have a second surprise assault in store for us. You've already gone above and beyond what I've asked of you. I ask again. Are you the moment I heard you tell me, uh -huh. you told me. Mm -hmm. They heard our friends. Remember fiddle. Remember. Mm -hmm. uh, that ain't a tunnel. Meet the nuncios, Lily. Come on. Let's burn those fuckers. Be a good place to sit down for a little, do a gear check, maybe clean the guns. I'm a scourge on you fucking raiders. Bodies! Harkins' and snipers must have fucked these guys up something fierce. Lock and load, sidekick. We got a job to do. Don't... Don't yell at me if it's so fucking dark in here, I step on your toes. You're the one who brought I'm us taking here. Taking casualties! <laughs>
smell that I give you two black eyes and steal your caps. Ugh. What is it with you and heading right for the spooky places? Glad I greased up my bearings. This is gonna get wet. God, the Can you fuck sticks hear me in there? Death is here for you, and she's wearing power armor. You heard her, man. She's pissed the fuck off. Getting good vibes off this place. Maybe we should hurry through.
Anyone else got anything to say? Didn't fucking think so. Stay the fuck out of my house! Hey. <clears throat> hey, you hear that one gonna screaming into a radio before we capped her? Something tells me it's got a direct line to the fuckhead behind this. Grab that thing and we can bring it back to the sheriff. She might want to talk to that ass spackler. Hey there. Good work. We're almost done. I thought we were done finally. With any luck, the hard part is over. There's one last task you need to do on the way out. This has been a long day. What do you mean, almost? We have a reputation. That means being thorough. Tell us what you need. Double back. Leave the tunnel the way you came. Make sure none of the gunners are breathing, faking being dead, or hiding. If they are, put two in their head. Orders were clear and explicit. None of them are to leave this tunnel alive. I'll head back via the west entrance, and we'll rendezvous back at the department for debriefing. There's CO screaming into a walkie-talkie trying to get a hold of some... colonel. I figured it might be of use, so I had my sidekick grab it. Good thinking. Make sure it's turned off. I'll hold on to it until you get back to HQ. Give it to the sheriff yourself. You got it, Dan. See you back home for coffee and donuts. What can I do you for?
pay. Hey. I see you made it back in one piece. Good work. Lieutenant Dan has made his report already. I'm pleased with both of you. He says you recovered a communications device. Yes, a walkie-talkie. Dan had said as much. Now please turn it over. Why do you want it? Because it's a security risk. There isn't just a mouth on the other side of that connection. There's an ear as well. I won't have that kind of liability in the hands of anyone but my officers. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't be a dick. We're on a roll tonight. Let's finish this off. There it is. Excellent. I'm not quite sure what we'll do with this right now, but at least our secret gunner admirer can't listen in. You've done an excellent job today, Lily. We were stretched thin more than ever. I'm sure we couldn't have done it without your assistance. What about Spears? And the garage? I ain't had time to ask Crenshaw about him. Spears has just arrived and is being tended to by Dr. Gary. He's lost a lot of blood. Gary was preparing for a transfusion when he kicked me out. But he was conscious and the bleeding had stopped thanks to a stim pack. The doctor is certain he will recover, but insisted he get quiet rest. You left the warning at the garage. Ain't nobody messing with them no more. I can promise you that much, Lily. Lieutenants Crenshaw and Dan have been debriefed already. They both spoke very highly of your actions through all of this. Lieutenant Harkins brought Spears back with her team. She too was notably impressed with your actions in Quincy. Spears will be debriefed when he's well enough. I have no doubt he will say the same thing when it comes to you leading them to the garage. Your guidance across the sea floor saved a lot of lives in what would have been an otherwise costly frontal assault. These were very, very difficult missions. You performed them admirably and bravely. Everyone here and at the Adam Cat's garage is in your debt. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Lily. I knew you could do it. You earned this today. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Oh my god. You're giving me your blade? That's the one that Whitworth... <gasps> but you can't. This one's yours, and I ain't a deputy. I mean... I mean... The officers and any deputy we could find all agreed. This is an exception. You will be the first civilian to have one of these. You are one of the bravest and most skilled fighters I have ever known, Lily. You will use it well, I have no doubt. Congratulations, Lily. This is a big deal and quite an honor. Now do us all a favor and just accept it. And as for you... You prove your worth to us once again. Lily may have questionable taste in power armor customization, but her choice in friends remains impeccable. Sidekick. Not now, Lily. The strategic value to us of having the Adam Cats as our allies and trading partners can't be measured easily in caps. Nevertheless, here they are. And please accept the T-60 issued to you earlier as a token of our appreciation. The lieutenants and I would also like you to have this. It's a potent close-quarters weapon. More importantly, it marks you as a friend of the department. Based solely on your fighting skills, and results for our cause, without a doubt your deputy material. But there is more to it than that. Rest assured, your actions aren't going unnoticed. I cannot share that with you for the same reasons I can't share it with Lily anymore. Institute memory extraction. It is for your own protection.
Your results speak for them. A tomahawk caps in a T-60 was a small price to pay for what you and Lily achieved tonight. I don't know what to say, Sheriff. I love you, but that... Yeah, there. I see you turning red already. I'll spare you and say it in private later. I appreciate that more than you know. <laughs> so, uh, now that the Adam Cat's garage is secure, you think it'd be okay if Rizzo moved into the center field with me? Of course, Lily. We'd have all preferred it hadn't taken so long, to be honest. Wedding in the greenhouse, right, sis? I wouldn't have it any other way, Lily. I'm so happy for you. Now, if you'll excuse Lieutenants Dan and I, we have work to do. There's a gunner prisoner to interrogate, and the radio you gave us to inspect. Between the prisoner and rumors from Good Neighbor, we should get more info on where to proceed next. I have a feeling once we piece some more clues together, we'll have more work for you. Come back in a few hours if you're interested. Hey, I got some unfinished business in Nuka World, if you remember. Hit me up before you leave and we can help each other out. Hey, let's go visit Spears down at the Med Bay. Gary might be a pain in the ass about letting us see him, but at least he'll have an update. Hey. Shoot! Hey there. Delano normally keeps these at a window for the good kids who visit. Here you go. What is this place? I got nothing to add. <laughs>